Well, the same people who told you that Tulsi Gabbard wasn't actually a woman and wasn't actually in the race routinely put the blame on America and its people for what they've done. So it's not we don't like that woman or that woman or that woman or that woman or that woman. And we we list different reasons uh, to allow ourselves to say it wasn't sexism when it really was. The sexism and misogyny that still exists in this country that is so difficult for women who are running for president to overcome. And you have a right to be tired of men running for president. You have a right to be tired of watching men take the oath of office. You have a right to shed a tear today. Why doesn't Lawrence O'Donnell give his show to a woman? What a poser. What a cringing phony that guy is. Tammy right. Bruce is not a poser or a cringing phony. She hosts Get Tammy Bruce on Fox Nation. She should replace that guy, Larry, or whatever his name is. Anyway, great to see you tonight, Thank Tammy. you, sir. Uh, so what is this about? Why are we pretending that, that Tulsi Gabbard's not a woman? You know, I love that she was on your show. Obviously, she's there, waving right from the corner, um, and that's important. But what she said was interesting in that it's an insult to the voters. Let me say it's more than that, though. Uh, it is an exposure of not just hypocrisy, and we hear misogyny and sexism thrown around a lot. Erasing her from existence is the <laughs> ultimate misogyny. <laughs> It is. It's that they're the ones literally doing it. It's like listening through the door of a group of people in the lunatic asylum and they forgot to give them their medicine. Right. That you've got the people off their meds making accusations against other people while they are actively in their accusation, erasing a woman uh, as they then blame it on, on us. So I think that unfortunately for her, her, her campaign itself exposes uh, how really degenerate the Democratic Party has become, how misogynist. Uh, and I know she's, I believe she's not running again for her seat. So she's not really, she's going to be playing, I think, a very interesting role in, in American culture and politics. Uh, but it really is a shame. Uh, and for every Democrat out there, not only is the race being stolen from them by the establishment, but they're actually, uh, they, they're the things they accuse everyone else of being, racist, sexist, and homophobic. And exactly. I, I would hope the Democratic exactly base right. uh, sends a message in November that enough is enough. Tulsi Gabbard is our Mary Jo Kopechny. They don't ever want to hear her name again. <laughs> it right. up too However, many issues they don't want Tulsi to Tulsi will keep coming back and will keep, I think, exactly. he, I, I disagree with a, a great deal of what she stands for. But my goodness, yeah, there they right. are er erasing a woman of color who stands up to the establishment. Hillary tried to get her. You know, with being a Russian asset, but that didn't work either. They're filthy. They're yeah, filthy. They are. Tammy Bruce, great to see you tonight. Thank you Thank so much you, for sir. that. Thank you.